Hey guys, I'm back with another video on Empire Total War. And this time I am ready to invade the Mughal Empire. So let's go attack them. I have uh, my line infantry as my main force. I'm going to continue the siege just for this turn. Um, next turn I will attack them or maybe this turn. But I do need to uh, have a look at the rest of my empire. Uh, some footage uh, was not recorded by me by accident. I didn't mean to do it and hopefully next time I could be more consistent with my recording. Right now I am blockading this trade route so any, any enemies will uh, lose money because of that. So yeah, that's why I'm doing that right now. And also my fleet is here to make sure I don't get attacked by any pirate, uh, any other nations or pirates. But there usually isn't any pirates around Europe. Uh, in America, however, there is lots of pirates around the Caribbean Sea and even in the North Atlantic Sea. But I believe the pirate space is around here. But it looks like they have been uh, attacked. However, there is one region here run by the pirates. I will take that soon, but first I have to prioritize and take Cherokee lands right here. Once I take the Cherokee lands, I will be able to get the 13 colonies to join me. So I have Mountain Tribal Auxiliary Cat. This just means that they can shoot while riding their horse. Very useful. I have my core line infantry army. I have the 3rd regiment first. Oh, there's some colonel line infantry, and I believe... Oh, it's just colonel line infantry. There is just no regular line infantry. Uh, colonel line infantry is weaker than the normal line infantry. Where to, Captain? Which is why I prefer the normal line infantry. There's also Hessian line infantry, and um, over here, I mean, the Hessians are located... Well, I mean, can be recruited in around America and other places. Over here in India, right now, the only, I don't believe you can recruit line infantry, however, you can make the colonel line infantry, and there's another unit, a West Indian trading unit, sort of thing, and you can recruit them exclusively in India. However, the line infantry you can get from Britain, it is the best line infantry you can get, because the colonel line infantry is weaker, so I prefer them. All right, so this is my one of my first battles in a long time. I will be quite um, quite not up to par. I am attacking their fort. I'm not very good at attacking forts, so I'm just gonna go with my instincts of my my total war instincts which is to attack from two sides, split my forces, and advance in such a way so that the cannons on the port towers are not as useful. So, but, hmm, I advance from over here, since I'll have some terrain coverage. Horse regiments will be quite uh, useless. By the way, I have line infantry regiment, uh, pure line infantry, and these are one of the best line infantry you can recruit. Also, I'll spread my men out in thin lines so that cannon damage is reduced. I'll take them off defensive mode and I guess they'll be using their bayonets as their main offense and defense. Wow! Look at this! Uh, AI error in terms of their deployment of troops. By the way, these camo um, these camels actually have longer range than normal light dra dragoons. They only have one cannon in use at the moment, anyway. Or actually no cannons in use, they just need that unit. Most of these guys are armed populace, which means they're not very good at fighting. Uh, some of them are swordsmen, but my line infantry is in fact very good, and will undoubtedly, I will win this battle. So I'll see you guys when my troops get a bit closer, and I'll just do a quick close-up of my troops. 
and yeah. Alright, uh, the troops are deployed slightly to the west of the port, has arrived. And I guess I should start filing these guys up. They're gonna start taking casualties from uh, the fire, light, fire lock on on the populace on the wall. These guys aren't very accurate with their muskets, so um, not much to... There won't be many casualties. And also I attacked the uh, mortars team over here with my cat. No losses so far in my regular top wars. And really, uh, my strategy is all about uh, minimizing casualties as much as possible. And that's what I base, base it around. Alright, these guys are climbing now. They're using rope to climb. And in Shogun 2, I have played that game. They actually just use... Uh, they just climb it with their hands. Oh, and my, I would play Shogun too, but I actually can't. Mm, I can't log in. Uh, some technical problems there. However, I am super excited for Rome to Total War. It is probably gonna... Um, I will probably play that. Well, I will play that, most likely anyway. And I think it's gonna be a very interesting game. From the looks of it anyway. Um, I like the fact that you can name regions. That, that will be quite awesome. Uh, I also am excited for the fact that you can pick your own symbol for every legion. You can give a legion, your legions specific traits, which is also awesome. And uh, the most thing, the one thing I really like is that um, all of this contributes to your legions being very sort of uh, specific, and you know. You know which legion is where just by looking at the name or or um, the symbol you use for them. So that's awesome. And I will send my cat through the gates. All right, maybe not. Let's pull my gun around. All right, I'll send this unit through the gates. Oh, and I need a unit card, um, no, sorry, a graphics card, a better one anyway. Alright, let's look at this. Come on guys, shoot. Shoot! Yeah! Alright, let's, let's break them. It's gonna be an awesome battle. 100, 109. Dark Kill. Basically, they've recruited 109 units of this. Of this regiment. So they must have a pretty big army. In that case, I mean, this is the 113. We don't know how many regiments we set up, so conquering India could be more troublesome than I thought. But I will win the Bayonet fights, definitely. Alright, let's form these guys up. Get these guys down. Um, if I could just get my guys down here, pull them up, and uh, then I would win the battle much more easily. But right now it looks like it's down to the bayonet and the cold steel. Um, my, the British line infantry seems to be one of the best line infantry out there on this game and probably historically correct too since uh, Britain really had a massive impact and one of the things I am hoping for in World 2 is historical accuracy that's always good to see in the game alright man this looks pretty awesome However, it is not possible for my men to be in that, in that big mess right now. So try to get him out of there as soon as possible. Alright, this sword minion is, is winning. They are winning, sadly. So, 
I can't pull them out there, there's really nowhere for them to go. However, this unit will defeat the armed popular soon and will be free to assist my unit. So, as soon as that's ready, uh, this unit cannot go in. Nope. Or maybe they can. Let's see. Are they gonna smash down the gate? They're gonna walk right through the gate. That's weird. Oh no, oh, no they're just gonna try to uh, use their weight. Oh. I have no idea. That's not what I'll just get him up on the wall. I'm not very experienced as you can tell in this game. This is my... Me really just try to get, to get, to get back into the Total War series. Um, haven't played for a long time. So this series is all about that. And I'm preparing myself for one too. The last game I really enjoyed was Shogun 2 and Rogue Fighter 2 on the original. And now Rogue 2 is coming up and gets him back into the game. Getting back into game. Yeah. Yes, sir. Are these the Gurkhas? Gurkhas? Yeah, they're Gurkhas. They're not special forces units, Gurkhas, but they are Gurkhas. Yes, and I'm surprised that this unit is actually better than the Gurkhas. Or this unit that was still. So Gurkha is more the best. Got heal and glamour. Sword. Alright, these guys are have one. Yes. Let's form them up. Wait, ready? Come on. I might have to get into square. Because of these two men. Shatter camo. Oh! Square! Come on, square for nothing, guys. Let's defeat these guys. Alright, so. We're really gonna, gonna have to have the units up and ready now. It means I can actually win this battle. And that these three units here won't get defeated. By the sheer weight of these guys. Sheer weight of number. The battle is quite long. And I don't have my timer for the 10 minutes mark thing. So I'll just have to guess. Alright, let's go take out the, the camel nomads. Yep, let's go take these guys out. Warm up in line of in a line of three. I'll quickly run them. Alright, come on guys. I believe they don't know how to do the, the firing thing where the first line bounces. 